Portland. Today's lunch will be minestrone soup, pepperoni pizza, cheese pizza, broccoli, and cabbage. Have a great day, Portland! T today's weather will be sunny, high, 36, low, 23. Have a great day, Portland! Good morning, Portland. Today is Friday, November 21st. Welcome to school today. We are continuing our focus on gratitude, and many of you may have heard of the TV personality Oprah Winfrey, and she has a saying that if you concentrate on what you don't have, you'll never ever have enough. Have you ever been that person? Have you spent time thinking about what you don't have instead of focusing on what you need and what you do have. If you um, watch all the advertisements on TV or in all the magazines and catalogs that we get, it's easy to focus on what you want and what you don't have. They make us feel like we have to have these things to have a better life. But take a moment today to think about the difference between what you need and what you want. If you find that you focus on what you need, it might be something you already have. And it's time to also take time to just be thankful for what you already have. Then you seem to feel happier because you're thankful and show gratitude for what you do have. So spend some time being thankful today for what you do have. And that will help you have a happier day. We are also wrapping up our focus on bullying today. You've been spending a whole week talking about what bullying is, what it looks like, what it feels like, how to know when you're doing it, and to keep yourself from being a bully, and how to stand up to a bully. Sometimes we have been a bully. Sometimes we have been a victim of a bully. Sometimes we've been a bystander. That means the person watching someone else being bullied and we need to all feel empowered to be able to stand up to bullies. So as we look through these lessons this week, there may have been times that you've looked at your own behavior and thought, I am the bully this time. So here's some important things that you need to remember as you're um, looking at those things and your teacher is going to talk to you about those things today. But the big deal is that you have to be feeling empowered, that you can look to someone whose behavior is the behavior you want to be like. You need to choose a person that shows good behaviors and shows good choices so that you can try to follow their example. And that means that you need to choose a person that doesn't act like a bully but also shows strength to stand up to bullies. So think about who that person would be so that you can practice and be um, like them. And when you're in challenging times, think about what they would do. Have a great Friday, Portland. We want to add some more uh, balloons to our students who are rising to 100 books. Congratulations to these students, and they're going to win a certificate for a big boy at Frisch's. Congratulations, Sheridan Aller, Caleb Free. Summer O'Neill, Anaya Fournay, Triton Culver, Jeffrey Barber, Jada Compton, Jacob Boykins, Antonio Thomas. We're excited for you and you'll be getting your new sheet on your way for your balloon to rise up to 20 books. We want to add more people to our 100 book tree. Let's get ready, get set and read. Have a great Friday. Caught being good. Meet us at the prize cabinet by 9.30. Congratulations to Nevada Gwen, Jordan Thompson, Abigail Crutcher, Kiki McGinnis, Enrique Lira, Skylar Jones, Mason Goodrich, Skylar Jones again, Jocelyn Lake, Marquez Walker, Amarna Shackelford, Glenn Johnson, Kaylee Key, Brianna Mercer, Erica Gibbons, Jordan DeLafe,
Jeffrey? I'm not sure. Billy Masters and Mike. Congratulations to Caught Being Good. And when we find out who Jeffrey is, we'll call him over the intercom. Have a great Friday. It's going to happen. Sooner or later, someone's going to bully you or one of your friends. Do you know what to do? Do you know what not to do? It's going to happen, but you can be prepared. You can stop it. You can be empowered. Pay attention. We're going to tell you what to do. You can stick up for yourself. Take a look. You're a freak. Nobody likes you. I have plenty of friends that like me. I don't see why anybody would want to play with you. You're weird. I don't care what you think. I'm just going to go play with my friends now. Even if your feelings are hurt, don't let the bully know that it bothers you. Stick up for yourself with your words and then leave. When you leave, go to people that you know are empowered. Other kids and grown-ups that you know won't be bystanders. Surround yourself with people that will help you be empowered. Don't call the bully names or threaten them. Remember, the bully wants an emotional reaction. If you show anger, hurt, or embarrassment, it encourages the bully to keep picking on you. You may have to talk to your friends and ask them to stick up for you. They may not realize they're being bystanders. Katie's been calling me names and saying stuff about me. I know you guys are my friends, and I hope you guys can help me out. Well, what are we going to do, first of all? I want to help, but I'm not going to get into a fight. I don't want anybody to get into a fight. You can help by the way you act and the words you say. This is what it looks like. Why are you hanging out with this loser? I don't see any loser. Well, then you should look in a mirror. Katie, I don't know what your problem is, but we are not listening to this. Back off, Katie. Be prepared to help others by being empowered. Don't tell yourself that it's none of your business. Ignoring a bully doesn't work. I bet some of you out there are wondering what you can do when a bully doesn't back off for you, even when you and your friends stick up for yourself with the words and actions you say. There may be times when you need help from an adult. Getting help is not being a tattletale or a wimp. It's being empowered. Check this out. Katie's been mean to me and calling me names. I've been empowered with my words, but it just doesn't stop. Well, telling me is a good way to be empowered, and I'm going to help you. There are adults that understand and will help. If, if the first person you talk to doesn't help, find someone else. You can make a difference. Believe in yourself. No one should have to be a victim of bullying. Don't be a victim. Stand up for what is right. This public service announcement has been brought to you by the Student Technology Leadership Program at Pulaski Elementary. At Portland, I will be. At Portland, I will be. Responsible. Responsible. By doing what's right. By doing what's right. Respectful. Respectful. By considering myself and others. By considering myself and others. Ready. Ready. By being willing to try my best. By being 